On this week's Monday Night Raw, Cody Rhodes made a surprising announcement by revealing Randy Orton as the fifth member of his team for the upcoming Survivor Series, War Games. Joining forces with Orton will be Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, and Jey Uso to face off against the Judgment Day and Drew McIntyre. Despite Jey Uso's recent shift in attitude, it's important to remember that he played a significant role in Randy Orton's absence from the ring, stemming from an assault by the Usos in May 2022 on SmackDown. Now, with this heated history in mind, let's explore four potential ways Randy Orton might seek revenge against Jey Uso within the confines of war games. Number 4, Randy Orton joins forces with an old friend. Randy Orton undeniably shares the strongest bond among his war games teammates with Cody Rhodes. The two season stars were integral members of the Legacy faction during the late 2000s, asserting their dominance in the main event scene throughout 2009. In an interview with Inside the Ropes, Randy Orton expressed admiration for the support he received from a young Cody Rhodes during their time as a tag team. Cody, he was young, but I was still young when he came up, and I was still kind of in a period of time where I needed a babysitter, said Randy. So as much as he puts me over for taking him under my wing when he was brand new, and drove me around town to town like he was a good, Cody, probably, is responsible for getting me town to town safely for a good three years of my career. If it wasn't for him, I might not be here right now. Like, he was my babysitter after the show. Considering their close relationship, an unexpected twist in the match's conclusion might witness Orton and Rhodes rekindling their former partnership. They could unite forces to launch a surprising assault on Jey Uso, ultimately causing their team the bout. Number 3, The Viper Strikes Backstage As Randy Orton enters the later phases of his illustrious career, he has earned adoration from the wrestling fan base. In a 2020 interview with TalkSport, Ric Flair, Orton's former Evolution teammate, praised the Viper, acknowledging him as the top talent in the company. Randy has done and accomplished so much and he's been there a long time, people don't realize this. But every time he says something, it's the truth. And his level of ability right now and his health are both great. He's at the top of his game, which, in my opinion, makes him the number one guy. The thing about Randy is, he's so good that I think just because he's been there for so long you think, gosh, can he get any better? And he just continues to get better if given the opportunity to shine. But I hope he retires soon so I can get my third ring. Despite garnering praise both internally and externally, Randy Orton solidified his reputation as one of the most malevolent and vindictive stars in the company's history. Known for his ruthless tactics, including a brutal head punt and the shocking act of kissing an unconscious Stephanie McMahon in front of a handcuffed Triple H, Orton displayed a willingness to stoop to unimaginable levels of villainy. Keeping his sinister nature in consideration, Randy Orton might shock the audience by launching a backstage attack on Jey Uso before the match, incapacitating the former member of the Bloodline and preventing him from participating in the upcoming bout. Number 2, Orton Waits Until the Last Second while there's speculation that Randy Orton might target Jay backstage, fans anticipate the 2-2, at the very least, cooperate during the match as they unite against their common foes, the Judgment Day. Nevertheless, as the final bell tolls and if Orton and Uso's team emerges victorious, the Apex Predator may deliver an unexpected twist by executing his iconic RKO finisher on Jay. This surprising move, coming after Orton's first win in over a year and a half, would definitively re-establish him as one of the company's most formidable and feared stars. Number 1, Randy Leaves Jey Uso on His Own Another malevolent strategy Randy Orton might employ against Jey Uso is to abandon him in the ring, forcing him to confront the wrath of Judgment Day alone. This scenario could unfold if Jay and Randy find themselves as the last two standing members of their team, with Rollins, Rhodes, and Zayn incapacitated in the ring. Considering Randy Orton's lack of empathy towards Jay Uso and his complete disassociation from the Judgment Day, it wouldn't be shocking if the Viper leaves Jay high and dry in Chicago, leaving him to face the impending threat alone. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!